epilepsy is most common in the very young kids and then also the very old adults. So the prevalence of epilepsy follows a U-shaped curve and we see the peaks in the young kids, so infants, uh, usually around one or two years old, and then it's more prevalent in childhood. People grow out of it, but you can still get epilepsy as you're an adult in, in adulthood. And then when you're older, um, as you're above 60, your rates of epilepsy go up, in particular as you're older towards 70 or 80. Now the cause of epilepsy in each of those populations is very different. Uh, when we're thinking about children and those infants, we often think about epilepsy that's related to changes in their uh, genetics, for instance, so that their brain cells are wired differently and their instructions are, are different such that they fire more easily than they should. And those kids generally have lifelong seizures, not always though. Now, when we're talking about the other end of the spectrum, uh, in people who are in their 70s and 80s, often we see epilepsy due to an injury to the brain. So for instance, if uh, somebody had a stroke, they can then have scarring in the brain and then have seizures that result from the fact of that the scarring is irritating the brain. Epilepsy can happen at any time. There are so many different causes though of it. Now I alluded a little bit to genetic changes and that is important in kids. Um, and that's one of the most important causes in kids. In adults, sometimes what we see more often is an injury to the brain that then um, causes the scarring and then leads to seizures. Or for instance, we see scarring in the brain that we we don't know the cause of, but then that scarring can also lead to seizures and epilepsy.